Hi, Erica. How are you? Hi. Um, so I'm Erica O'Grady. And I actually came to the Tea Bash tonight for Shell Israel's new book, Twitter Bill. And when I got here, um, I noticed that next to my name on the, the, the name badge, there's a little red dot. And I said, why, don't, why is there a red dot next to my name? And they said, it means you're in the book. And I said, I'm in the book? Wow. So I, I, I got a copy of the book. And sure enough, on page 157, there's a story about a coffee house in, in the city of Houston, Texas, which is where I'm from that utilizes Twitter uh, to build their business. In fact, they quadrupled their business in a matter of months by utilizing Twitter. What they did is they started res uh, accepting direct messages from customers for orders. So you could actually direct message the coffee shop and you could wow. put in your order and you could drive through the drive through and pick it up. Or if you're sitting at a table and you don't want to get up from your laptop because you're busy working, you can send a direct message to them and they'll bring it out to you from the counter. And Amazing. so that's what the story is about. And I wrote an article uh, for Pistachio, Laura Fitton, for Pistachio's yep. blog about this. And then that article got picked up by Mr. Tweet, and it got retweeted 750 times on Twitter. And because of the article, um, they ended up getting a ton more business, like quadruple the business. And then on top of the article, um, other people started hearing about it. The New York Times and this magazine in London. The next thing you know, they were everywhere. Forbes magazine has published articles on this, on this shop all because they started using Twitter. I thought it was a great idea. I wrote an article about it. The article got retweeted 750 times and suddenly they're making lots of money. Wow. Awesome. So that's the story. Oh, good. That's an awesome story. Show me. I just want to capture your Twitter handle. Oh, it's Erica Grady. Grady.